Number seven, eight, nine, and ten. Please be on stage. Yes, please. Thank you. Hello, candidate number six. Number seven, eight, nine, and ten. Please be on stage. Hi, good evening, Mommy Dixon and Mommy Paul. It's nice to see nice you on the stage. Uh, I, I, Hello, people of Santa Cruz and the Park. I, I remember, Jackson. yes, I remember that her mom passed away last year, and it was a uh, very, uh, you know, mahirap naman talaga, no? But how was, how are you now after your mom passed away? Well, actually, it, you know, gives me depression and anxiety, knowing that the only person who supports me and accepts me for who I am passed away, but. You know what, ladies and gentlemen, I'm still here because you know my mother. You know my dream of my mother is to for me to get ready, and I'm here. You know, uh, your mom is having this chance to I'm get the help. Your mom is something very happy. For you. I love you, mama. <laughs> okay, choose your hashtag, please. <laughs> okay, your hashtag is hashtag gay pageantry. Okay, so the hashtag that I pick is gay passion. You know what, ladies and gentlemen, it is my dream to be a beauty queen ever since a child. Because I you know I idolize so much, I idolize people who enter pageantry because when I was a kid, I loved to be on stage. I love showing people my gowns, my makeups, and of course my passarella. But when I entered pageantry, I know that it's more than that. Pageantry gives platform. Pageantry is an inspiration. Pageantry gives motivation to all of you to express our feelings, to express our dreams and views. Because if we have this platform, definitely we can inspire other people. And tonight, I am here. It's time to be fun of you. Not just showing my beauty and talent, but I am here because I have a advocacy. I want to relate to people. I want to be relatable because at the end of the day, if we have this kind of platform, definitely we can have a peaceful and call for community. So to all the aspiring beauty queen out there, just be like me. Because I am not beauty queen who have beauty and intelligence, but I have a purpose. Thank you so much. Thank you, candidate number six. Thank you, candidate number six, candidate number seven. Candidate number seven, please. Okay, but before we proceed with candidate number seven, may we call candidate number ten to be on stage? Yes, candidate number ten, please be on stage now so that uh, out of the source. Good evening, candidate number seven. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Hello, candidate number seven. Um, you are from Albay. So you uh, traveled all the way from Albay just to be part of this um, beauty pageant. Now, um, can you tell us your experience? Uh, well, to be honest with you guys, I just came back from Manila and I was not, I was also able to conquer the stage of Metro Manila. And I really did um, came back here to experience the love and the support of the Picolatos because I wanted to experience again how does it feel to be in the stage of the Bicol region. And I'm very over, overwhelmed because up until now, I am still, you know, I'm being supported by those few people who know me. So thank you so much. Thank you. So all the people are from Albay, from Manila, pa. So uh, pick your hashtag. Most from Albay are. Uh... <laughs> so your hashtag is COVID vaccine. Okay. So the hashtag that I pick is COVID vaccine. We all know for a fact that at this very point of time, COVID has taught us so many um, lessons in life. And COVID, you know, um, kills a lot of people, not just here in our country, but of course, all over the world. So what I can definitely say to my hashtag COVID vaccine is, this is very much needed at this very point of time. Why do I say so? Because this is a weapon, a tool for us to eradicate COVID-19. And this kind of thing, we should have it busy. We should always bear in mind that we need COVID vaccine. For me, to be honest, I want COVID vaccine to be mandatory. Why? It is just for our own good. For us to eradicate the COVID. So that would be my straightforward answer to your straightforward hashtag. Thank you very much. Thank you. Candidate number seven, candidate number eight. Hello, candidate number eight. Very tall. 
and oh. beautiful. Uh, how are Maria. you? Actually, I am sick right now. It is because of the recently concluded competition that I joined in Polanyi Albay, and that is the Mardi Gras Queen. And I am really sick right now. I have body pain, I have headache. But still, I am doing my best to fight for the crown tonight. Uh, Thank you. A fighting one. You're sick. Um, nagpa-COVID test ka ba? Or nagpa-ano ka ba? Um, ano ba yung nabang doon? No. Rapid test. No? Yeah. Bago ka sumali dito? To be honest, no. And I believe, and I believe this is just the effect of the um, over-fucking in the recently concluded competition. I'm sorry. Parang na-excite. Nakabahanan na yung excited yung over-excited. Two years. It's two years na natingin. Well, I know how it feels. Ibang iba yung nasa. So, so please be pure. Yes, okay, please. Um, I sure. hope you get well soon when you're taking medication. Yes. Bring lots of water, okay? The hashtag is hashtag price hike. Oil price hike. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the word that I pick is oil price high, which is a very wrong pun nowadays. I believe, ladies and gentlemen, that there, there should not be an oil price high. Why do I say so? Naghihirap na nga tayo. Wala na nga tayong maihapat sa ating kapagkainan. Bakit pa magkakaroon ng oil price high? I believe every Filipino is worth for a beautiful life. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe that, that this oil price high doesn't have a good effect in our society. Because I believe that every Filipino and every human being should appreciate, should uh, experience the good life from the society. Ladies and gentlemen, let us always remember na kumayon po tayo upang pabili po natin ang mga gusto natin sa buhay upang makuha natin ang mga gusto natin sa buhay. Always inculcate in our mind that hard work and perseverance is the key in order for us to survive in our daily lives. Thank you. Thank you, candidate number eight. Mia Reneosa. Let's proceed, candidate number nine. She is really looking sick, but... Uh, Hello. You know, so, uh, candidate number nine is from Kumaligan. Uh, yeah. And uh, she is also a pageant and enthusiast. Yes, Jill Orsini mostly posts her pictures on her social media account. You can follow her. <laughs> okay, so, uh, kamusta ka naman, candidate number nine? Um, I feel okay and I'm just so blessed to be witnessing generations of beauty queen. Yes. Just to inform everyone, um, Madam, both of these hosts right here are my batchmates also in beauty pageant. Um, Miss Gay Suwa 2007 and Miss Gay Libo 2007. I was there also with them competing with them. I'm so honored to, you know, witness different kind of beauties through generation and time has passed. And it still feels the same and amazing. And so nice to be with you on stage. Thank you. It's our great Thank honor. you for acknowledging her compliance. Ang kailang kalimutan ko na yun. Very touching. Ang kailang 2017. Sabi si Kay Swap, when I won Miss Lady Bottom yata, no? Miss Kay Swap. Siya yung first runner-up. And I was Miss Lady Bottom. She saw me Miss Kay Swap 2007. So pick your hashtag, number nine. Okay. Hashtag. Eight years old ako. Your hashtag is hashtag cyberbullying. Um, well, the hashtag that I pick is cyberbullying and actually mentioning the generation that had passed. In our generation, we don't have, we don't have this kind of cyberbullying. I grew up in a generation where um, we just, you know, writing letters, sending SMS, and social media is not that very famous by that time. And I could say that before, I think 20 years ago, time kind of peaceful and um, people are still living in a harmonious life. But because of people's greed of fame, um, ideas that is currently conflicting to one another, cyberbullying is very rampant. And I think we should start educating our children this very early that it doesn't have any good. We should filter the things that we should speak 
out in social media. Even though that we have the freedom of expression, I think our expression and freedom of speech must be regulated. We should always think before we click, and we should always believe that there is no, there is nothing wrong in being kind and saying kind words. But definitely help um, other people to, bo to boost their self-esteem. We cannot, you know, live in the life destroying one another. We are standing here as a whole humanity. And I think destroying one another, discriminating one another, saying bad things to one another is not something that is worth our purpose and our existence in this world. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you, candidate number nine. Maraming salamat, candidate number nine. Candidate number ten. Hello, candidate. Ang ganda ng color ni candidate number ten. United Colors of Benito. Para malapitan babae ng babae siya, no? Miss Antoinette Sapo from uh, Albaino. Yes, from Albaino. Hello, candidate number ten. Hello, ma'am. Good evening, po. Good evening. Um, actually, um, she also traveled all the way from Albaino, so Tanong natin siya, ano yung experience niya um, as she travels going here to Naga? How do you find this competition so far? Actually, uh, we traveled for almost two hours. And um, it's really worth it because as of this moment, Naga City is really the city of smile because of the people. And she has a boyfriend, actually. I see, wow. She has a partner. Okay, is that the voice? <laughs> okay, so uh, please keep your hashtag. Okay, your hashtag is HIV slash AIDS. Thank you so much. Actually, at this very moment of time, HIV awareness, for each and everyone's opinion, it is um, a very rampant disease nowadays because we encounter different kinds of sexual intercourses with other people. I believe, ladies and gentlemen, that the very bottom line of this word is that we should always take care of ourselves. Because an ounce of prevention is better than a pound of cure. Ladies and gentlemen, I always believe that HIV awareness, we should always inculcate into our minds the, the four letters, which is A, B, C, and D, and E. Actually, five letters. A, which is abstinence. B, be faithful to your partner. C, use condoms. D, um, do not always enter sex with other people. And E, educate those people around you. Because at the end of the day, no matter who you are, no matter what gender you have, no matter what preference you may have in your life, this disease targets each and every one of us. Thank you. Wow, thank you, candidate number. Thank you so much, Canada Number 10. Again, we have HIV testing. So, magpatest na po tayo. Let's keep ourselves uh, be aware and be educated about HIV and um, AIDS. So, sa ating entrance area, at the right person.